everyone, welcome back to the show. We are here at the Swedish Embassy on the Georgetown waterfront. Spring is out in full bloom, so we're gonna show you some of the flowers that we brought to the streets ourselves. Right this way. On today's episode, we're gonna show you how we transformed a grungy intersection into something beautiful, bright, and floral. Here's what this wrap used to look like right here at this construction area just a few months ago, but we've turned it into this. I'm excited to show you this project, not because it's the biggest or craziest thing we've ever done, but because it has been a long time coming. If you've tuned in from season one, the very second episode, episode two, at the end of last year, we were working on the stencil graphics for this piece. We were trying to beat the winter and get it out last season, but alas, it's finally happening now and it's spring in the city. And that city is Washington, DC, and we are here in Georgetown. Now for a little context, this overpass creates a sheltered street condition that divides some of the iconic things that you come to Georgetown for, namely the gorgeous waterfront, the iconic retail and canal experience. Now this fence area falls right in the middle of all of that with the Watergate Hotel, the Swedish Embassy here, pedestrian, vehicular, and bike movement. We've been working with the neighborhood on a two-part beautification strategy, starting with the Columbine flower. It's a local flower that grows in this area. We turned that into a spray paint stencil. I scanned that stencil into the computer and began to collage and to color a design based off of that. And I just packed it full of energy and movement that resembles the energy happening at this intersection. And I made the flowers larger than life to compensate for the larger than life ridge above us. Using a wrap is the kind of way that you do a street art mural when you don't have a wall. It just attaches to this fence, it's gonna be durable. It can be printed off during the off season, such as winter. But here's the crazy thing with this location. Yeah, it's grungy, it's dirty. All of these enormous construction vehicles hang out here. This is the staging area where all of the construction and maintenance projects happen for this whole Georgetown area. So anything that's beautiful that's happening in this area, it's a result of this very dirty area right here. So I couldn't think of a more appropriate metaphor than the flower, because what looks like a lot of dirt in one season might just be the garden that you're setting up for something beautiful to grow in the next. Maybe there's something that you started a while ago that you think other people have forgotten about. Maybe you've forgotten about yourself. You think it's a little bit lost. Maybe there's a season coming up here where you're gonna see that that was just a seed setting you up for something successful in the next season. This big design started as a tiny little stencil about 10 or 11 episodes ago. But it's about to get even bigger in the next episode or two. Can't wait to show you how big this gets. It's about to take over this whole street. So I'm glad you stopped by. Welcome to the channel, I'm glad you're here. And it feels a long time ago since we posted episode two. So special thanks and shout out to anybody that subscribed and joined us way early on, six months ago when we began this project. You guys are awesome. So subscribe to see how this piece grows and takes over the rest of the street in the next episode or two. But hey, I'm excited to have any new people join on. We are just getting started. We've got a lot more videos to make. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Aaron Scales. I'm Cassie Scales. And this is Creative Capital. See you soon. Ooh.